Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss about solution, suspension and colloid in science form 2 KSSM. Solution, suspension and colloid are mixtures. As you have learned in form 1, mixtures made up of two or more substances which are physically combined. Let us see what is the meaning of a solution. A solution is the mixture form when one or more solute dissolves in a solvent. Solute means a substance that's soluble or dissolves in a solvent. And a solvent means a liquid that dissolves a substance. The sugar cube is solute and the water is solvent. When we put the sugar cube in the water, it dissolves and forms a sugar solution. All the sugar dissolves fully in the water and this makes the solution to look clear and transparent. Here are the examples of solution. Number 1, carbonated drink and number 2, vinegar. Now, let us see what is the meaning of suspension. Suspension is a cloudy mixture formed from undissolved solute particle in a solvent. In suspension, the solute that do not dissolve in the solvent cause the mixture to turn cloudy. Because of that, the suspension is known as a non-uniform mixture. For example, if you mix the sand into the water and you stir, no matter how hard you stir, the sand will not dissolve in the water. This causes the mixture to become cloudy. A precipitate is formed at the bottom of the beaker. Another example of suspension is chalk water. When you place the chalk powder into the water and you stir, the mixture will turn cloudy. After some time, you will see the precipitate of chalk at the bottom of the beaker. Alright student, you have learned about solution and suspension. Now let us look at activity 5.6 in textbook page 108. In this activity, we are going to determine the difference between a solution and suspension. The material that we need are the copper to sulfate crystal, the color is blue, the water, the filter paper and the chalk powder. Refer to the diagram given in the video. The blue copper to sulfate crystal is mixed with water and then you stir it until even. Then you will get copper to sulfate solution. Do the same thing to the chalk powder. Can you see the difference between the appearance of the copper to sulfate solution and the mixture of water and chalk? The copper to sulfate solution is clear and transparent but the mixture of water and chalk look cloudy. Okay, students, see the third step in the instruction. Use a torchlight to direct a beam of light towards the beaker and observe whether the light can pass through the mixture as shown in figure 5.15a. Number 4. Let the mixture stand for 10 minutes and filter its content as shown in figure 5.15b. Number 5. Observe if there is any residue left on the filter paper. Now, let us discuss the observation of this activity. When a beam of light is directed from the torchlight towards the copper to sulfate solution, the light can pass through the solution. The light is able to pass through the solution because the copper to sulfate solution is a clear and transparent solution. A bright spot of light will be observed on the white screen. When a beam of light from the torchlight is directed towards the beaker of a mixture of chalk and water, the light cannot pass through. This is because the mixture of chalk and water is a suspension which is cloudy. The suspension do not allow light to pass through because the size of the suspension particle are too big. As a result, only a dim spot of light will be seen on the white screen. Copper to sulfate solution that is filtered doesn't leave any residue. Do you know why? This is because the copper to sulfate powder, which is a solute, dissolves evenly in the water, which is a solvent. When we filter the mixture of water and chalk powder, the residue is formed on the filter paper. Do you know why? This is because the chalk powder is insoluble in the water. Now, we will discuss about colloid. What is a colloid? 
A colloid is a mixture of two or more solutes that are dispersed evenly in a solvent. The particles of a colloid are suspended or not dissolved in the solution. Colloid is totally different from solution because it does not produce a clear mixture. It's also different from suspension because it does not form sediment or precipitation at the bottom of the beaker. And the particles in colloid cannot be separated by filtration. Now, let us see a few types of colloid. The first one is emulsion. Examples of emulsions are milk and mayonnaise. The milk is a colloid because it consists of the fat particles that does not dissolve in the water. The fat particles disperse evenly and suspended in the water. The second type of colloid is foam. The examples are shaving cream and whipping cream. The third type of colloid is solid emulsion. The example of solid emulsion are jelly and cheese. The fourth type of colloid is sol. The example of sol are in pain and blood. The fifth type of colloid is aerosol. The examples of aerosols are smoke and aerosol spray. Okay guys, that's all for today. See you again in the next lesson. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Teacher Usna 83.